Hey, Greg. How hey. are you? Good. I'm doing good. Good. And today we are checking out Frank's warehouse. So right. show us around, Frank. Okay, let's do it. So this is my warehouse. Our warehouse. Um, it used to be a big fat mess. And the reason why I want to make this video is to show you how it's organized now. Because we used to be inefficient, unorganized, lose things. Now it's a lot better. Still can be some tweaks and improvements, but the overall structure is amazing. I just want to show you guys around. By the way, I am not the best at organizing, but someone, Marianne Bryant, thank you very much for helping me out. Just giving you a shout out. And uh, she, she, she's a professional organizer. She goes into people's homes, organizes their closets. She helped me organize this business. Anyway, so <clears throat> when items come in, they get, they, they get put here. This is just a random pile of stuff. This is the sorting place. This is where everything gets sorted, whether it goes on eBay, on Amazon, to test, to, for lots, everything goes here. So this is the, like, this is, I can't source more than what's in here. If this gets too much, I have to stop sourcing. That's my rule. So I'm limiting myself to this much stuff. Now, there's a lot of stuff here. We just did a storage unit and stuff uh, with storage, uh, storage auction. So, <clears throat> but anyway, this, is everything that we have yet to sort. <clears throat> so over here, once I sort things, they can either go on Amazon. Once it's here, if it's used, it's checked, it's clean, it's complete. Everything is literally ready to go, ready to be listed on Amazon. So that's Amazon. If it needs to be tested, counted, cleaned, anything that isn't ready to be listed on eBay or Amazon, it goes on this shelf here. Uh, it's a double shelf because we get a lot of, we, we do a lot of used stuff, board games, things like that. So. Uh, this shelf here is everything that needs to be tested and counted. Over here is where we keep everything that is going to be lotted. So we lot toys, we lot clothing, we lot DVDs, we lot books, kids books especially, because um, they don't really sell individually. You gotta put them into lots and they sell very well, and so on and so forth. So we keep a lot of that stuff here. It's, uh, it, this is one place where it needs to be organized a little better, but that will come and uh, yeah. So next spot is eBay listings. So not this stuff, this is part of everything. Some of this stuff is randomly here, but ignore that. This shelf here is anything that's ready to be listed on eBay, whether it's a lot or an individual item. Um, it is ready to go, it's ready to be listed. The only thing maybe if there's a price label, but they take care of that before. And then sometimes there's notes on here. For instance, here's a remote. Everything's clean, it works. Uh, the only thing it needs to be a little clean. So I put a little label on here that's saying clean. This is electronic. Anything that's electronic, we take the batteries out of. So this has already been tested. It works, has a check mark, and the batteries are out. Okay, <clears throat> so anyway, so that's how this works. So it's pretty cool. You sort, and then it goes in one of four places. That's pretty cool, Frank. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then once it's, uh, listed on uh, our eBay listing, then we got to take photos. So we do photos uh, separate from the listing. There's one person who sits and takes photos. And once the photo is taken, he places it here. Usually there's a bin here with a number. He'll take a photo of the bin number first and then fill up that bin. And when that bin's full, then he'll take a uh, photo of the next bin number and he'll fill that one up and so on and so forth. Things that can't fit in the bin, we keep separate. But uh, so now the lister, knows, which is the listing station is over here, the lister knows by the pictures of the bin, just by the pictures, what goes where, and he doesn't have to take a lot of time to, to sort things and put them in different places. Um, it is not a perfect uh, system, but it saves a lot of time and it works very well. So this is where everything's listed, and once it's listed, from here, it gets placed into our storage. Now this is most of our storage, I still have some in my house as well. Um, I kind of like that because it is it is a write-off, but eventually I'd love to get everything in one place. Uh, but this is most of our storage, and it's just a regular storage system, M1, M2, M3. And then we have, there's ve there are not similar, I mean, there's similar books, but in this, <laughs> bad example, most of these bins have random things in them. So if we're looking for a book in a bin, and there's only one or two books, it'll be very easy to identify that. That's the same system Amazon uses. 
So, uh, so in, real quick, Frank, how did you exactly come with the system? Come like up with M1, this? M1, M11, I see. There's <laughs> different numbers. There's different letters on the... 10K on the bay. 10K on the bay. That's right. That's right. Yeah, he's the one who inspired me to really... And, you know, I'm part of the mastermind as well. So, uh, after... And then also we were growing fast and I needed to figure something out. But I did uh, take part of his system. Uh, part of it I took and part of it I didn't. And that's part of uh, the whole process of experimenting and figuring out what's good for your business. You know, you take the good stuff and then you leave the things that maybe don't fit for your business. That's um, but you also gotta keep an open mind and think that, you know, you don't know it all. And uh, <laughs> my son's running around. Um, so anyway, so I'm really trying to stay humble and stay with, a, keep an open mind about everything that we do. And by doing that, I was able to uh, double the business this year. So it's been pretty cool. Oh, keep coming this way, and I'll show you a little bit more. So how long have you been in this warehouse, just so that everybody kind of has... Just a handful of months, like three or four months. Three, four months, And okay. the first whole month, or a month and a half, it was a complete disaster. Disaster. Stuff was everywhere. Piles of, of bins. Our storage was a pile against the wall with some numbers, and the numbers weren't organized. They were just all over. It was a complete and utter mess. Uh, if someone needed to know where tape was, most of the time I would have to tell them, because... You know, I have a good memory with a lot of these things, but uh, but if, if someone else puts something somewhere, who knows where it is if there's no place for it. So that's why it's so important to be organized with even with supplies, uh, your storage, what's being listed, what isn't listed. Everything needs to have its place if you want to uh, have a good, efficient sound business so so just real quick yes. uh you do amazon and ebay all together in the same warehouse right? yes okay. yes and it works very cool. well you know uh we do we do the thrift and to to get the most out of our time spent thrifting um we pick up a lot if we just went to thrift stores and got amazon stuff we would only get a little bit we wouldn't be able to sustain the numbers we do so because we do both and uh, because we do both, we can grab eBay stuff and Amazon stuff and get more bang for the buck and use our time more efficiently. That's cool. So, so what's this shelf about? This shelf, okay, so once things are tested over here, like, like I said before, here's our testing station. One side is to test board games, um, to count things, to clean things. This side is for electronics. We have all the wires under there needed for almost every game system, VCR, you name it. We got boxes of batteries, we got plugs, we got everything you can need to test almost everything. Now, some things we still purchase and things like that, if it's worth it, but for the most part, and then we accumulate things that uh, need to be tested. Okay, so cool. let's move on. Uh, we'll go, I'll go deeper into every single one of these categories in other videos, forgive my little tangents, but uh, I just wanna give you a little, a little brief introduction to every cat thing. So this shelf here now, once things are tested and completed, they go in this shelf here. Uh, this check mark means- And these are only electronics? No, there's everything, okay. you know, board, anything that needs to be checked. So a lot of it's electronics, but some of it's board games that need to be counted. Used board games are very, very profitable, certain ones, so you gotta be careful. But um, anyway, so yeah, board games. So everything has a note, check mark, or if, some, if it has an issue, we write a brief, a brief uh, description of what that issue is. Does the different oh. color sticky notes have a meaning too? No, we okay. just use what we have, yeah. Okay. So, All right. But everything is labeled and has a note. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, right. yeah, thank you. Um, and then this shelf obviously is Amazon. So once, once uh, this is where we list stuff for Amazon. And then once it's listed on Amazon here, it goes right out the door. So it goes uh, on or under this table. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of flowing in, it's being sorted. Evan, hold on, you gotta wait, okay? What is this? I, well, I'll tell you after the video. That, oh, that's a little screw. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, uh, where was I? Okay, so you sort it, list it on Amazon, it gets listed, it goes out the door. This is the flow here. Okay. The flow is sorted, list to Amazon, take pictures, list, store, and then here's our eBay. Sh and then it, when it's picked, it gets put placed over here in bins below or we still gotta figure this out. This isn't completely optimized, but this works for now. And this is our eBay shipping station this is where all the action happens. And then once this is shipped here, we place it on that table 
and our postal worker comes, who is extremely nice. Um, he comes at three o'clock every day and picks up all our packages for us. Um, haven't had an issue yet and it is working out very, very well. So that's pretty much it. And then over here is just everything that is, that is uh, it's not necessarily garbage, but all our donations. So since we, we, I don't have a truck yet, I rent trucks, I rent U-Hauls for larger purchases, for storage auctions, for pallets. So when we do, so, um, so we fill that up and then we, if it's not all the way full, we take some more. And then every day when we go to thrift stores, we take a couple things. One, to get as many 30% uh, of coupons from Savers. <laughs> and two, um, because we just don't have the space to uh, on a truck and things like that. So this is just kind of overflow for all the junk that we got to donate. This is especially more than we usually have because we just did a storage locker that it was two U-Hauls full and we didn't have a, a chance to uh, get it, rid of it all. It's a lot of donations. It's a lot of yeah. donations. You know, I really don't like throwing stuff out. Um, sometimes, uh, some weeks it's more busy than others and it's just crazy and, and unfortunately we have to get rid of some things. But most of the time I like to uh, donate donate those things. Um, so, uh, that's the best. You know, yeah. Frank, what I really like about this warehouse is that it's really open floor plan. Just yeah. like anybody when they go hunt dig for a house, uh, they look for a kitchen, a living room, dining area that's really open and you can see everybody working together. So this is the layout of Frank's warehouse, which is really cool because it goes in a circle and brings you back to the shipping station. So Frank, do you have any quick words that you want to tell your YouTubers? My wife is amazing. She's recording this video. All right. <laughs> um, no, that's it. I just, uh, there is so much potential here and I just want to encourage you guys and show you guys what I'm doing and what I've spent years like I, visualizing something like this and I finally have it and I'm not there yet. Some people would think, whoa, this is amazing and then others, is, they're so far ahead of me. So I need to remain humble, but also I want to share my journey with you guys. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.